Good morning, everyone. It's Michael Sherman, gardening, woodworking, and more. Um, long time with no update, so I'll give you an update. Um, first update is I got my rain gutters up to fill my two rain barrels. Well, I guess they're not really rain barrels, more like cisterns, I guess. Um, and have been battling aphids and spider mites along with probably a lot of you are dealing with the same thing. Um, so I've been spraying with um, this stuff, Trifecta Crop Control. It has, here's the ingredients. It's pretty good, works pretty good. It's a little, it's a little pricey. It's actually a lot pricey for what it is and you have to spray it all the time. Like once a week or something like that or every few days to prevent it or you can dilute it more concentrated to um to uh get control over a situation but it was th that bottle 32 ounces was like 150 bucks and it makes eight gallons of spray to handle an infestation and or it makes 16 gallons of spray for preventative so my sweet potatoes as you can see there's in this here let's see zoom out a little bit so in this big and big giant from here to there to here there's only two plants somewhere in the middle here two they're growing crazy um my tree my cat hi pookie here's my kale's still going. Mostly it's become chicken food. I don't really eat much because the worms got out, but it's looking better now, so maybe we'll start eating some. <clears throat> uh, watermelon. So what happened was, when it started getting hot, the watermelon and a couple other plants were stressing out, so I figured I'd do an experiment and increase the watering. I probably almost doubled the water. And it has made a comeback. Like, it actually sprouted and grew a lot more so that's that's good so i'm getting some more watermelons on there if you can see there's one right there and sort of top top of there um and they um they uh they're doing good along with my beans these are black beans got some right here a few pods right there these, these used to be on corn Corn stalks, but they folded over, so now there's just the mound. My, um, these are, um, bush beans. Doing well. So, this, I don't know why. This one's greener. These are not as green. So, I fed them. We're gonna see how that works out. I fed them a couple days ago. Um, we got soybeans I'm trying out. Looks like this one's got some fruit on it. Enough fruit, some beans coming on right there. That's cool. I uh, haven't grown those before, so that'll be fun. My okra is growing crazy. Got some pretty good size. Let's see if we get some scale here for you. Pretty good size of okras. I mean, they're really long and they're and they're not woody. They're pretty tender still. This red variety I like a lot because it it um they get really good size. And they're, they're not they're not woody. They don't get real woody like uh, or fibrous when they get older. Like this one, this one's still pretty good. It's kind of big. So these are big, big okras. Look at this guy, huge. Still very flexible. So I'm still dealing with aphids on here, but ladybugs have moved in to help out, as you can see. A couple there. So. I don't know if I'll spray these again. Might might spray it underneath and leave the tops for the bugs. Not sure, but I need to get a handle on those things because they're pretty bad. If you see right there, if I can really get a good look, there's a lot of aphids on there. And I just sprayed maybe, I don't know, four or five days ago, something like that. Um, time it's the season, you know, end of the end of the season, you get a lot of bugs because that's the nature of it. That's the, the timing of things. Um, 
There's a season for everything, and once you reach the end of the season, stuff happens. There's another little guy. Hello. So I got another, another zucchini I just found. Pretty good sized one. So I gotta pick that guy. Um, I pick it now, but I only have one hand. <laughs> Can't right now. Here's a watermelon. It's Charleston Gray. Not a very thick watermelon, but really long. So that's an interesting type, but it's, it's doing well. And there's probably other ones that I can't see that are starting, I think, because since I increased the water, it's been doing much, much better. Um, here's my original summer squash. It looks like it's producing again. It took a break for a while. It didn't have a lot of success, but it's planted here and it's grown all the way over here. It's got some smaller ones that never really amounted to much. This one did, but it got eaten, so that'll be chicken food. There you go. Chicken food. Um, it's got some other ones on there that look like they, they might do pretty good. My cantaloupe. Cantaloupe is here. It's doing better, except for the aphids on them. It's also making a comeback when I increase the water. But I haven't had any. I see lots of flowers, but not a lot of fruit yet. I had we had, we did have some fruit prior, but they weren't very big. So here's some cotton. So we got cotton. I planted this just for fun, just to kind of show off different things um, in the garden. I mean, I also make. I said before, I make um cotton balls for my wife so this is this is cotton this is this is it right here pick this one out it's pretty cool how it comes out in long long strings there you go one one ball of cotton there's seeds in there so I gotta take the seeds out that's what a cotton gin is for is take the seeds out and then you gotta fluff it up, fluff it up and make cotton balls out of it. I have a video I did a while back. I may try to find it and post it on how to process cotton. Just for fun, or I'll make a new one. But uh, they're pretty tall. It's pretty tall. It's about chest high on me, this one. So, another zucchini here plant. Hasn't started producing or is just barely starting to. These are um, red beans, red long beans, or long red beans, whatever you want to call them. These are a little bit newer. These are younger. I have some other ones I'll show you in a, in a minute. Sweet potatoes are growing crazy. I'm going to put the cotton down. Sweet potatoes are going crazy. artichoke right here is made a comeback it it died and then I was worried I was sad because this artichoke is a seed it's a cross that I made on accident so I can't really say I made it but it's an accidental cross that ended up with one plant one single plant that had something to the effect of 45 florets on it 45 artichokes on it not huge ones there's a couple big ones most of them are medium sized, it's still pretty good, it's still edible, you know, not tiny ones. But 45 on one plant, I couldn't believe it. So this year, the seed that I collected from that, and I wanted, I wanted to see how, if it's uh, true to seed, if it's gonna be the same one as I had before. Because when it happened, when I found out the unusualness of that plant, I ripped up all my other artichoke plants before it bloomed, so there was no cross-pollination. So that I was able to save the um save the genetics i guess save the plant so that um i get the same one every time so this year hopefully i'll find out if that worked this is italian kukuzi squash it's got a really pretty flower it's kind of late in the afternoon but they don't last long the flowers they're very delicate they're very like doily very thin almost see-through you can almost see through them the petals 
So they, they when they first bloom, they're very pretty. They're a nice bright white, but they don't last long. They they fade pretty fast. Um, here's one that's kind of nicer looking, but they're they're really quite pretty. But here's here's oops, let me zoom out. Here's one here, little squash. They're related to Lufa. So um, they're. They have the same seed shape, same flower, similar flower. I think loofahs are yellow flowers, but um, similar to loofahs. Edible, young squash. They, they get pretty long, supposedly. Got some worms on there. Got some worm duty. Gotta get that out. My sweet potatoes, of course, competing. Rhubarb is doing really well. I got my Malabar spinach growing up the trellis there. The pink, pink looking stems, very pretty. Uh, they're perennial, so I didn't really do any, I didn't harvest anything on that because it's too young. I didn't realize they're so slow growers, but that's like almost a full season worth of growth right there. They grow very slow. So I'll wait till next year and see, see what that does, but they have seeds on them and they're, they're quite pretty. Here's the uh, long beans. Here's the long beans. Very pretty flower. The flowers are quite nice looking. Here's another one. And they have these little beans that get to be bigger beans. And I think this one might be ready. I'm not sure how big they get. I might leave it on just to see, but this is very, it's still very tender. So I might leave it on a little longer. Um, they're supposed to get like a couple feet or something. So I'm going to leave this on to see how big they get. Um, but there's quite a few coming on it right now. This is the first time I've grown this variety. So. Should be cool. I don't know what they taste like. I'm assuming they taste similar to a bean, but I don't know. Again, sweet potatoes. Look at they're just growing craziness. So, my goji berries had um, spider mites. They got wiped out. They were totally defoliated. No leaves whatsoever. Sprayed them a few times, and they're coming back. This one is a little slower to come back, but it, it's looking better every day. They grow fast, so it's coming back soon. Yes, I killed my grass with Roundup because this grass is Bermuda grass and it is very hard to get rid of. This is some right here. Let me show you. Let me zoom in a little bit and see here. Sweet potato, this is coming from way over there. It's nuts. Um, they grow, here you go, it's perfect, perfect runners. That seemed easy enough to pull up. That's, that's misleading because they are very hard to grow, I mean, very hard to, to get rid of. Every node, as you can see, has roots coming out of it. So wherever they touch the ground, they make roots. So I'm gonna pull this one out and try to show you how fun these are. Cause you can see, you can't, it's really hard to get it all out because they just spread underground. So, I'll let that grow back and then if it comes back, I'll spray it, which I'm 100% sure it'll come back. It might take it a few weeks, but it'll come back. Um, blueberries are doing good. This is a new one. That's one I had a few years. And there's probably two over there that are completely taken over by sweet potatoes that look like they're doing okay. You can kind of see them right there little light, lighter green little blurb, that's them. They're doing okay, but sweet potatoes I'm gonna harvest pretty soon. Mid-October, mid to late October, when they start turning yellow. That's about it. I'm trying to think of anything else we got going on. Nasturtiums, I just planted those for a color. Um, gonna be pruning plum tree pretty soon. But these sweet potatoes 
I cut these back to the top of the lungs like two weeks ago and they're already over over them so ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. So there we go. That's about it. That's the update. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them below in the comments. And have a great day. These are the day's harvest. Some okra and zucchini. Here's some Cornish Cross meat chickens we got for the second round. First round went okay. I'll be filming the second round. Thank you for watching and have a great day again.